So the first phase is getting ready to start. The bottom section for the pop top is now finished and, and painted. So we're going to start working on getting the roof modified now so the top section can bolt onto this. But it looks very sharp and very shiny, a bit too shiny for my car. Beautiful. roof modifications have completed and it's now heading off to get sprayed so it's coming together pretty good once that's back from the sprayers the rest of the configuration will begin to be put together and won't have much longer and the pop top will be basically ready for taking to the show where the final installation will be taken or completed so it's really good I have a home soon the lower frame has now been test fitted, so basically it's put on top, all the panels are aligned to sort of correctly to get it to conform to the correct shape, and it's just starting to get bolted in now. So tomorrow or the day after we'll be working on getting the newly painted roof put on and everything basically bolted up, the bed platform put in, so it's coming together very quickly, which is really good. I've ordered new door hinges as these ones are pretty well buggered now. You may have seen in one of my recent videos, in one of my vlogs, that the doors were really quite shaking badly on the corrugations, so there's a good few millimeters of play. So I've just ordered a couple of those, I might as well just try and do it now if I can. I'll probably just have plain standard galvanized hinges, I won't probably go into painting them, but I'll see how I go. As long as the, the hinges are new and everything fits up okay, it'll be a lot better and probably quieter as well. Got the bed platform underway, which is currently getting carpeted and this will be the main support which has the boards on there and then this can actually fold up as well for the roof with the roof so I can actually stand up underneath so it's perfect size for someone my height so that'd be really great to have that option so I can move around inside easily this is the inside part it's the basically the new cabin lining where which fits below the bed so that's what I have above my roof now. Nice little grey. Just some ply board there. So it looks quite flash. And all my old roof and marine carpet, that will be upstairs basically now. The bed platform has been installed, all very flash, very nice carpet looking and still a fair bit of headroom which is really great. So this is what I push up when I'm getting uh, changed or living in the back here. I can push this up and then I have this space here so when the pop tops up this crawl space is what I can use to get in and out of bed. I can probably use this step here to get up and climb up in. Yeah, it's amazing how it all comes together. Now you probably noticed a few other pop tops in production currently for you two Toyota drivers. So I'll give you a look at these two. This is an 80 series with a pop top. 
quite like the paintwork, a very nice texture to it. But this is quite a beautiful system as well. This one's still being worked on. And this is inside the 80 series. Plenty of standing height again in a nice long bed platform. So instead of towing your camper trailers everywhere or having your big roof racks, you can get something like this set up. And this mighty blue one, a Toyota 76 Troopy. Very nice looking. I still stick with my Defender, but I can appreciate it's just a, the great design and how much room they got inside. This one's the version one for the Troopy. It's got the checker plate top instead of the plain aluminium, which is coated to the same color as the vehicle, but it's got the very similar solar panels that I'm gonna put on mine. These are smaller size, but it's the same brand. Very nicely rough textured. And they should be hopefully fairly indestructible. It lasts me a good you know, 15, 20 years. I wanna get out of them. Let's just see if I can pop this top. All popped. Just look at all the space inside this troopy. A great setup. This is pretty much what mine should look like. So I got the nice little. Well, my roof's going to be different, obviously. This is custom built roof because the original's chopped off, but I use the Defender roof, so I have the normal marine carpet. And you got the three windows, one on each side, and the one at the back, so you can top open, pull down. You can adjust how much ventilation you want, and then still keep your privacy. Put them all back up with Vel Velcro. And the bed, that's what I said before. Got the slats underneath. So there is some sort of support there on top of the mattress, or beneath the mattress. Oh, look, looks, looks really good. <laughs> There's a couple of completed troopy pop tops over here, which are going to be exported to the USA. They're already basically set up. This is the, the version two plain aluminium, which is Color match to the vehicle. You can basically see the nice engineering that goes into it. Pretty strong gas struts keep it all up, and you can put your load on the roof as well. And it's solid. So it's coming along nicely. It's the mounting points for the struts are basically being installed. So this will be the one which literally lifts up the roof itself so this has the biggest stronger struts on top and you can fit a roof rack on top as well if you ever need to which can take the normal weight of of up to 150 kilograms land rover's maximum recommended weight for a roof rack on the on a defender roof but at this point i really don't want to carry any more gear so i'll just keep it completely uh, in, completely naked on top just have the solar panels and that would be it. The idea is just to keep the weight really low for me and trying to minimize what I take. I think this pop top would be the absolute ultimate overlanding vehicle. It's a Defender 130, but being converted into a station wagon with the pop top camper roof. So you've got 3,500 kilograms of payload, or 3,500 kilogram GVM, an awesome size roof, which still gives you the full size bed platform, and then even more space you can move around inside here. Easily customizable inside to do whatever you want. So if I bought another Defender, I'd probably go with a 130 station wagon pop top conversion, because that would just be everything. I could have a whole entire editing suite, a lounge, a kitchen, pretty much anything I could dream of would be in there. I have to get the keys and give you a look at this, because this one, this is, this would be the dream build, I think, maybe way off in the distant future, when the 110 is just too small for me to, to really travel long term. 3 tons 50 is just not enough payload for me to travel long term with you know, all the toys I want. 
then the increasing amount of film gear I need place to store it. So, yeah, this is awesome. Here's another custom Toyota build. This one is much different, but it integrates very nicely and the interior storage system is something I'd probably like to do with my car. It's probably a bit beyond, beyond my current skill level, but given enough time, I can probably figure out how to do it. So this is another 80 series, but with a custom build on the back. So I love this beautiful way the, <laughs> the doors open here, the gas struts and the fold down steps. But this interior is kind of like what I would want to build for my Defender. So you still got the pop top bed up here. And there's the bed platform goes up. So you still got all this room in here. It's currently a two seater, but you can make it into a, a five seater still. Giant fridge. And then these cabinets. This is kind of the style I'd be going for. Something that's upright, that goes up close to the roof just so I can fit loads of all my gear in there. All quite nicely integrates with each other. Heaps of room inside for me to keep packing in all my different kit. I can have one for like clothing, another for different film gear. One on each side like this would be really nice. It's not too difficult to make. I think it's made out of uh, yeah, just basic aluminium tubing. They sell kits here that you can buy and, and custom make your own thing. So maybe I'll do that in the future. But for now, I think I'm probably pushing my luck. Pretty sure I can lock something like this up. I just need to buy a few new tools and routers and stuff to, in order to, to cut it nicely, which is not the kind of kit I currently have. But it looks pretty straightforward otherwise to build. But just a much nicer finish. And I could also have doors on the outside as well where my gold wing windows open up. I could just have the exact same thing on the other side so I can access it from both inside and outside, which would be, <laughs> that would be really like awesome that. And then look at that, you know, bench top on top. I could have my kitchen on top here. I'm standing up inside the Defender. You'll see plenty of European setup Defenders for overlanding that have that kind of setup. Really, really, really like top quality stuff to have. And it beats the head out of my two storage boxes when I'm digging around inside. A compartment for each kind of different thing I carry would be a lot easier. Yeah, this is definitely more of a a living type space I could actually live in. Got a nice little information system here for the batteries, plus I could have all the different plugs and accessories or inverters, a couple of pigeonholes for stuff in gear. This is just really like a, a true living space and it comes in a you know, fairly tight little package, much better than towing a bloody camper trailer around the country. You don't have to get out of the car, you can just climb from the front seats straight back pop the top and you've got your home so this is like the ultimate soon soon i just got to focus first on getting that phase one done and then i'll start dreaming about what kind of storage system i can actually build i like it it's monday morning and the roof has arrived all freshly back from the painters Looks extremely nice. Haven't seen it look this white ever. Nice gloss coat to it. In alpine white. So everything's nicely covered over. That should look really good. So we'll be working on trying to get this installed today, I guess. And see if we can get it all ready uh, for the final assembly at the show. So we appear to be on schedule. So the roof's coming along really well. We've got the pinch weld on. That's part of the weatherproofing around the sides. Keeps, helps keep the water out. Ben's just putting in the glass again. And the other Velcro to help attach some of the canvas. That's looking really nice. It's so bright and white. I just haven't had a car that looks so good for a while. <laughs> so I still need to do a bit of work as well with rewiring some of the old electronics but that will come soon. But if, we, if we get all this done at least then the basic build for the show is ready. 
the bed platform's been fully bolted in and the gas struts connected. So it's basically just a little touch of the finger. I can get it up. Once I get all the bedding in, I can leave it in there and have the pillows up there top as well. Some of my extra sheeting and blankets. So it really frees up a lot of space down below, which I previously had stored in different boxes. So I can just keep it up in the, in the living space now for all the bedding or just put it in a little sack shoved to one corner. Plenty of room in the roof cavity to fit it all. So that'd be nice to free up an extra space down below. So this is inside the 130. Let's look at that, you've got like a full size bed platform here plus you've got all this extra space where you can just sit as well. Whatever kind of setup you want to design. The bed goes up still. So there's loads more room here. Nice for four people or five if you want. Fridge in the middle. And it's a really nice setup. So much room, it's just so spacious. This would be yeah, the ideal setup, I think, if you really wanted to tour long term to have the 130 conversion. All these nice pockets everywhere, and then this connected stuff I was talking about. This might actually be more like what I could actually make. This is a lot simpler, I think, using this stuff to, to build my storage. Here's some of that sail rail stuff I was talking about. Some of the cord that fits in, just slots straight down. That's what I'll have on my tarps, just so I can slide it in and slide it out easily. Should be even quicker than using carabiners and way less than all the extra steel I'm carry. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to help support the creation of more videos and see behind the scenes and bonus content, join me on Patreon. Click on the Patreon button on the side now. Thanks for watching.